Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alex Nye, and I'm a digital marketer, and I work with Sidekicks Marketing, uh, which exclusively deals with real estate. So I am a digital marketer, but I only do social media, which is why I was asked to come in here today to talk to you all about social media in 2021 and real estate and how it kind of works cohesively together and what you can do to capitalize it. So without wasting any time, uh, I'm just going to jump in because I only have 15 minutes today. But I will let you know that after my presentation or during the presentation, if any questions come up, jot them down and feel free to send me an email. I'm a pretty busy guy, but I will get back to you as soon as I can and I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions uh, regarding this. So jumping right in, a little bit of a background to me. Um, so I was actually a professional chef for about 17 years. But I come from a very prominent real estate family in Toronto. And I feel like my entire life, I've kind of been running from the real estate industry. But I've recently discovered that it's an inevitable situation. And here I am doing marketing exclusively for real estate. So what I do is basically I take agents across tons of different brokerages in Toronto. And I run their Instagram and Facebook pages for them with one goal in mind that breaks into lots of sub goals. But the main goal is brand development. And brand development basically in layman's is trying to build up your brand and images and the image of people, how you want them to see you and occupy that peace of mind, right? We all know peace of mind in real estate. We wanna be the one, the agent that people think about. So that when the need arises, you're the one that they're gonna call, right? So we wanna try and occupy the peace of mind by developing our brand and interacting and engaging and nurturing is the key word here, nurturing, remember that, these relationships. All right, so how do we do that? So first off, I just wanna hit you with a couple quick statistics, but you may not know, not know this, but three and a half billion people worldwide use social media every single day. Uh, the number's a lot higher for people that have accounts, but this is daily active users, okay? And in the last 12 months alone, another i think it was uh 350 million people joined that club so i really want to throw that right in the beginning of the presentation to kind of just insinuate that it's here to stay and it's not going anywhere social media is a new way of marketing that is working and it's working and it's getting in front of people and if you don't capitalize on it i will for another agent so i'm this is a perfect example um to show you that just if you haven't started yet, it's not too late. We're still at the beginning of this trend, even though it's been around for over 10 years, we're still at the beginning. This is the new media and never too late to start, but start. So why social media is probably the question that you're asking. And I'm just gonna break it down into three different parts to answer it. So how many of you, and I can't see hands, so just pose this question out there, but how many of you remember when Facebook first came out? back in 2006, 2005 ish. Uh, I remember I was in first year university at McMaster and it was the latest, greatest thing. And the reason why was because for the first time ever, it was possible to connect with people that maybe you weren't super close with, but that you knew acquaintances, even just friends passing people with common interests. It made it really easy to connect with those people and, and have kind of online relationships with them. Okay, which often would, you know, help solidify and grow your out, out of the world real relationship with that person so guess what nothing's changed in 15 years it's still the same it's still amazing for that purpose and here's a perfect example because i know your agents and all of you are thinking well does it work last week one of my accounts landed over one hundred twenty thousand dollars in commission sales by a message that came in that literally said this hi blank I ran into you at a dinner party eight years ago, your friends of blank and blank. My daughter is in a tricky situation looking to sell her condo and buy a new one. Do you think maybe we could schedule a quick call? That was literally the message, like verbatim, I'm reading it right here. And the person had uh, basically let her know that she had found her on social media, she had seen her posts that she had been doing and following along. And that's what prompted after eight years of no contact, eight years, she reached out to this agent and now this agent has two deals out of it. So that is a perfect world situation. I will give you that. This client that I'm working with has been running her page for three months and this is the first time that that's happened. But what if I went back to any of you three months ago and I said, listen, 
if you dedicate to this and you do this plan for three months, you dedicate 15 minutes a day to it. That's all I need, 15 minutes a day to sharing content, and I'll get into that a little bit. And what if I told you that you had a strong, strong, strong possibility of landing over $100,000 in business after your third month? I mean, who wouldn't do that, right? Like every single one of you would. So I'm here today basically to tell you that it works for that reason. It's a great way to take your sphere of influence and expand it into the new digital age because that's all that we're doing is we're taking that, that sphere of people that you know, people that you've met, people out there in the world that will vouch for you and you're drawing them into a central network where you can communicate with them, nurture the relationship, grow the relationship, turn it into a sale, turn it into a referral. It's a funnel. That's what it is. And, and it's the new way of funneling. So do a little funnel dance. All right. So the second thing that's so good is how many of you have seen a listing or heard about a listing from somewhere that maybe you didn't see on MLS? All right. Like every hand's going up. I know it is. All right. MLS is not the only way to get your listings in front of other agents. I've personally had multiple cases again with clients of accounts that I run where we've run promotions on new listings and message, message, message. I need to see this house, multiple listings, which has resulted in multiple offers and the multiple offer scenario. We know it's really good for lots of reasons, but one, you're going to be selling, you're going to be able to basically say that I sold my property for this much percent over asking. That's really strong marketing for anyone else who's looking to list their property because they want money. They want as much value for their home as they can get, right? So that's a really good opportunity. But also the other thing goes into the third point, which is credibility. So again, I'm gonna do another hypothetical scenario that I think many of you have probably been in where someone calls you and says, hi, Joe, or hi, Alex, I'm Alex, I'll do me. Hi, Alex, I'm looking to list my property. Could you maybe come and do a listing presentation for me? Of course, of course, I'll come do a listing presentation for you. But I show up and little do I know there's three other agents that are also doing listing presentations. So now the question becomes, how can you differentiate as an agent on your offering that's gonna make you attractive to the point where that potential customer is gonna go with you over agent A, B, C, or all the other ones, right? It's really competitive real estate, no surprise to anybody. So the more things that you have within your marketing plan, more things that you can brag about to potential clients, the better, the better it is for you. So, and that's the other thing too, which is tied into that, but social media is a little bit fickle still. Um, and fickle in, in, in the sense that it's kind of a little bit of vain, right? People aren't gonna take you seriously unless you have a certain amount of a following, unless you have a certain amount of engagement, right? So if you can put the time in and you can, you know, follow these steps that I'm going to go into in one second here, um, then people will visit your page. They'll see the content that you have. They'll see that people are interacting with it. They see that you have 1200 followers. You're getting, you're given prestige status instantly. So if I, if I'm looking at a potential agent and I go to their page and they have six posts and they all don't really look that aesthetically pleasing and the agent has 50 followers, I'm not going to go. I mean, me personally, knowing what I do about marketing, I'm not going to go with that agent. No way. So there's another benefit there that just that people expect you nowadays. It's 2021. People expect you to have this brand presence on all these different channels. OK, they might not expect you to have bus shelters because people know bus shelters cost a lot of money, you know, but social media doesn't. It's free. It's something that you can do and you can manage your, yourself. So it's really it's a question of how hungry are you? How hard do you want to work to hunt down these leads? And what are you willing to do to do it? How much time are you willing to put into it? So um, let me just check my time, 5.03. Okay, I'll just wrap this up really quickly. So I am, I have done a seminar with Zolo in the past, and I'm doing another series of seminars next week uh, with Jane Stevens. Hi, Jane, if you're there. Uh, Jane is awesome. And I'm so happy that I get a chance to work with her again. So this is what happened. So she asked me to do a seminar and about how you set up your pages, how you post, just basically all the, I'm gonna go into my accounts and I'm gonna show you A to Z, how to run a page on Facebook and Instagram. All right, that'll probably be about an hour, but something that I was really adamant about adding in was I also am gonna do a second seminar that's gonna be uh, specifically focused on advertisement because Facebook and Instagram and LinkedIn and all that advertisement is ridiculously cheap the ROI is super high 
and it's really, really optimizable, which basically means that I can run an ad today and by tonight, by tonight, I can tell how that ad's performing. I can, I can tell if it's good, if it's bad, if I need to change certain things. And there's all sorts of different options to do that. So I'm really excited to, to show you, to, to get you into a seminar with me next week. Um, and I'm gonna go over that. I'm gonna bring you into my ad account. And I'm gonna show you what, can, what you can expect. And the final thing I'll say is if you're sitting there like, oh, I don't wanna spend more money, keep in mind that for like 30 to 50 bucks, it depends on the ad account, but for 30 to $50, you can get an advertisement in front of 20 to 30,000 people. 20 to 30,000 people for like 30 to 50 bucks. Like you can't go wrong with that. And the prices are gonna keep going up too. So again, it's a good time to capitalize on this and you could totally do it yourself. So I'm excited to show you. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope that you got some good takeaways from this uh, quick little introduction on why to do social media. And everyone have a great and wonderful weekend. Thanks so much.